Hi everyone, welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, so I'm really excited about this one. Today, I'm going to be testing out this art epoxy from Tea Expert. This was sent to me from Tea Expert to review, so thank you so much. So what's special about this epoxy is that it is used for coating artwork. So it says here, coating art resin, suitable for coating the painting, photography, souvenir, or other artwork. On the front here, I see that there is three times UV resistance. It takes six to 12 hours to cure. It has high gloss, bubble free, pretty hard and low odor. The set comes with some accessories. We have a large flat spreader and we also have a smaller one. This is more of a stirring knife. In addition, we also have four popsicle sticks for stirring and four sets of disposable gloves. So today I have this puzzle that I recently finished. This is a My Little Pony puzzle here and it is rather large and I wanted to protect it so that I can hang it up on a wall. So we're going to coat this with epoxy and see how it turns out. Okay, so let's get our gloves on and get started. Here are my two cups. Here in the back it says the mix ratio is 1 to 1 by volume and you have a 20 to 40 minutes working time. And once you unseal it, you have one year to finish using the resin. Here to start by mixing the resin. All right, so this resin is ready to be poured, it is very clear. There are some bubbles, but not too many. I think these will pop once we pour it. Underneath the puzzle, I have a sheet of wax paper, so this will protect my table. And this is just a regular puzzle. It's not coated or protected in any way. So this is going to be my first test. Usually, if I'm using a paper product, I will coat it with a Mod Podge or make sure that it is something that is uh, plastic so that the resin will not soak through. But for today, I'm just going to pour the resin straight onto the puzzle without any prep work. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that this works. So let's just pour this from the very middle. And I'm just going to use the spreader to spread it out in a nice thin layer. So it's very easy to spread it out. I'm going to try to spread it all the way to the edge without it overflowing. And I'm trying to work fast before the resin sets because this is very thin. And even though we have 20 minutes, I'm afraid that parts of the resin might start to get sticky. And I don't want that. I am pushing it off to the edge because I think once it's cured, we can actually cut it off with an X-Acto knife. Okay, so here it is so far. I think it's looking really good. It looks super glossy. It almost looks like there's a piece of glass on top of it. So I'm really happy with this. I can't see any bubbles at all, but I'm gonna give it a quick blast with my heat gun just in case. Alright, so now all we have to do is wait for it to cure. And since I have some leftovers, just for fun, I'm going to coat some stickers. So here is just a sheet of regular stickers. And what I'm going to do is actually peel off the border and then put the resin on top. And then we'll see what happens. All right, everyone, so it's been about 10 hours and the resin has cured. Let's go ahead and take a look at our puzzle. So here it is looking super glossy. Oh my goodness, this looks really good. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife here and run it along the edges in case there's some resin that leaked over. It's gonna be stuck to the bottom.
So this is sticky because a little bit of resin did leak to the bottom. But it doesn't seem like there's a lot. So there's a little bit of resin here that you can see leaks through the puzzle pieces, which is fine. It's not a whole lot. And here is the front. And oh my goodness, look how glossy this is. This is beautiful. So the image before was kind of matte, but now you can see that it is super glossy. And now the puzzle pieces are sealed forever. And here it is, close up. I don't see any bubbles. And it is really, really smooth. So you can see a little bit of the puzzle pieces here where it's uneven, but it's not the resin's fault. So this is actually really good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. So I think what we can do is on the back, if you want to, you can actually put a layer of Mod Podge or you can just put it into a frame. But I don't think I would waste any resin on the back side. And as for the front, I was kind of thinking that maybe I want a second layer, but I think one layer is enough because it is super glossy and smooth. And there are no bubbles that I can see. Not even on the edges here. This is so cool, you guys. And let's check out the stickers. So here is the sticker sheet. As you can see here, most of the resin actually went onto the sticker and left the, um, the borders here, which is really cool. There's a bit of an overflow, but I think it's, but it's pretty thin. I can cut through it. Let's just peel one of these up. Oh, so it's still flexible. So essentially we turned one of these paper stickers into like a, resin covered sticker so it's protected in the front and still sticky in the back i love that it's still flexible so here we have some overflow so what i would do is just trim it with a pair of scissors here and it cuts really easily because it's so thin and there we go this is amazing. All right, everyone, so that's the art epoxy from Tea Expert. This really surpassed my expectations. And I'm so happy that we now have an art resin that we can use to coat paintings, photography, puzzles, and other types of artwork. So if you like this video and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.